Hello everyone. We're dead. Um, it, it, by the time you're watching this, uh, Heaven, our second EP, has uh, just been released. And uh, you have anything you'd like to say about it? Ah, I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, man. Definitely. We've come a long way. Uh, our old stuff is still out there. Listen to it. See what, you know, see what you think about the new stuff. Well, yeah, so we, one, one of the things that we want to do is we want to keep our old stuff out there so that people can see how we've progressed. Um, because, like, we are basically teaching ourselves how to do this, and um, that's part of the journey. And I, personally, I encourage everyone else, like, you don't need to, you know, go to a school and like learn the right way to do it and it's it, it's art like you don't like there's not a right way to do art if you want to do something just go out and do it you can just do it um so uh heaven uh the idea of heaven is well, i mean if you listen to it it's, it's, it's basically the opposite of the idea of heaven the, mm -hmm. Like the standard idea of heaven, which, um, I mean, that's why we spelled it different. Also, uh, um, heaven is part of uh, something that uh, we've been constructing that we call the dead verse, um, it, which is basically like a universe that uh, parodies our current timeline. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a facsimile of our reality. Uh, we have. Just different characters, places, uh, items, and stuff that have a story connected to them. And uh, we just write storylines within that framework. And we got some, we got some pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty funny stuff that we're going to be shooting here coming up. Uh, and it's expandable. We have built in just like... Uh, the idea of multiple timelines and stuff and I know that that can get convoluted but uh, it the way we're thinking about it it makes sense uh, because of some of the characters and scenarios that we've cooked up but, yeah <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be some really cool stuff uh, you might recognize certain characters um, but it is all fiction it is all fiction um, we just try to have a good time with it. Um, we constantly are brainstorming and coming up with new characters. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like, we'll be like, well, dude, we need to have a character that's based off of this person. Like, all the time. Yeah. And, it, and we don't really make them like 100%. We, uh, we definitely crank up some stereotypes and just like character traits that either suit them or maybe are kind of don't suit them in real life but they do in the dead verse because of the situations that we put them in um i think we have probably about 30 yeah, to 40 yeah, like characters 30 or something yeah um we have about four pretty solid storylines and then uh, we got some that were were brewing yeah we're more. constantly writing more <laughs> Like, this is what we love to do. Um, we love to tell stories. And it's, it's, honestly, I figured the easiest way for us to make music would be to write stories and then make music based on that. Yeah, like, Nate does most of the writing for the songs as far as the lyrics and everything. But uh, he does, you know, you take stuff from your experiences, and but also it's kind of ran through the dead verse filter. Yes. Of, uh, <laughs> Like, wh what kind of tone are we going to take? Like, you know, what kind of uh, feeling is this supposed to have? It turns out a lot of it is just, like, absolutely disgusting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as it should be. As it should be. But we do have a lot more um, kind of poppy, kind of catchy songs that are coming out. Um, once we've... Heaven is out now. <laughs> um, so we're probably working on our 30 P. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, uh, our plan is we're going to do an album, 
and that's going to consist of the three EPs that we have, um, and then also some special bonus things that I don't know if we want to announce yet, um, but it's going to be worth it. It's basically going to be um, a triple LP for a debut album, and it's taken us a long time. I think our first EP took us about six months. Something like that, yeah. Um, this one is, we're about at, what, two and a half, three? About three months. I'm but um, yeah. I've been moving. We just moved into, I moved into a new house. This is our new studio. So a lot of, we only get like one day a week to do stuff. So, like, considering that we've been building furniture, <laughs> making trips, and doing yeah. everything, like, it's a much quicker timeline. And uh, I think this next EP is going to feel a lot better. Um we got a, a better space here. Uh, it's not as crowded. Um, it's a square and not a rectangle, which actually <laughs> really matters because we're we can move things around and as we need. But we bit you know we have the drum set that's all mic'd up and ready to go. I got my amps over here, computer. Uh, we're gonna set the vocal mics up here, and it's basically just gonna stay up, and we're free to do anything at any time it just uh pops some chords in and out of the interfaces and we're ready to go um but yeah it's uh about halved our time for recording which is good yeah i definitely uh feel like the actual recording of the tracks went a lot better um, and that's just because it's improvement over time we've done things like have our track templates so when we record drums it's insert track from template and there's our 16 tracks just <laughs> uh, that saves a lot of time and a lot of the work that uh, like I do in the studio is just like saving us time because it adds up um, spent like four five hundred dollars on microphone quick releases <laughs> Because uh, we have a lot of microphones. And it's, time is money. It is. Like, like you, we don't want to spend an hour and a half of practice unscrewing microphones from stands. That's just absolutely it's, outrageous. It's, it's ridiculous. For and, sure. And I, we are, I think we're pioneering a lot of stuff. Uh, we definitely record uh, tracks and... <laughs> not a conventional it's manner. It's not a conventional manner at all. But uh, I think it gets the job done. Like... I think, you know, you see um, a lot of things in studio. They might have two mics on a cabinet. Um, and I have three different amps that I have mic'd. Um, I think I use about ten tracks total with a direct in included and all that. And we have, uh, we use ten inputs for vocals. <laughs> um, Which is unheard of. Yeah, I but... don't think anyone does that. And it's just... You know, my philosophy, our philosophy on it is, if uh, it doesn't sound good, you just take it out. Um, it's better to have more. Better to have an abundance than to not have enough. Yeah, and they're all different microphones. I have some stereo pairs of certain ones, but um, doing it with different microphones, and they're all four different things, I think gives it kind of like a unique uh, sound. And... Uh, we do put a lot into that. I, you know, I usually take care of the the music mixing, and Nate will give suggestions. He does the vocals, and I'll give him some suggestions here and there. But we work as a team when we're mixing and stuff. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I think uh, the way we record things is definitely pioneering. Um, I hope pe some people pick it up because I don't like it works really well for us like with the panning and adding effects and stuff to just make something pop a little bit more um, you know things like that uh, and you know we're open to record you if you need I'd love to get someone to come out here and to see how we kind of do things and um, you know we got it all set up here let's put down some tracks yeah man for sure like we definitely have just about everything that you need um and uh it, yeah if you go through the timeline of it, like our current timeline it, w w within the reality that we know um and you go back and you listen to our earlier stuff and up until now 
it's crazy to think that the more that you do something, the better you get at it. Yeah, it's really like, and we started out, you know, with an electronic kit and uh, just like some five sevens and, you know, and, you know, I put a lot of work into building the studio and it's, I thought a lot about the things that we needed and, you know, things that would suit our needs and how it all goes together. And it, I think it works pretty well. Um, definitely uh, maxing out my brain bandwidth most of the time. <laughs> yeah. Like, because uh, it's like, it's a big decision when you're spending thousands of dollars on something. And I think I made good choices. I think I have good taste. <laughs> yeah, very good taste. That's why just about everything that you want is out of stock. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's like I'm unlucky. Like, it's nice stuff, and uh, it's like I guess it's just you know popular. Um, but yeah, our gear is a big thing. Um, we take good care of it. Um, I like to leave things set up. Cause, like, yeah, like then you don't have to set it up again. Yeah, that's like a, an hour of time saved every right. day. You know, I just plug in and turn my stuff on, and we're jamming. Um, we got a lot of, we still got some work to do, like we got a, you know, the EP's done, but we'll need to uh, mix down uh, the instrumental tracks that we can play live to. Uh, we still need to do that for Ego as well, but you know, that's just something we do, like, hey, let's like chill this week. <laughs> right. Let's kind of work on something easy. Maybe we need to recharge. I, when we started, very early on when we started, I engineered a studio and a backpack. The uh, backpack is right over backpack's there. Backpack's right <laughs> over there. Nate's, Nate takes it to and fro all the time. Uh, it's just like a pop-out studio. You can, you can record vocals and an instrument at the same time. Uh, maybe we can expand it at some point by getting a four input, but it's done its job. Uh, it you know the, a two i two is like. <laughs> not even two hundred dollars. It's also a meme, but yes, yes, it is a meme. <laughs> but it's also the best two in that's, interface. The reason it's a meme is because it's good quality. Yeah, it's, 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 everyone has it. Yeah, it's, it has the uh, dual quarter inch and XLR inputs. Uh, that's a big thing. Um, just make sure you have some studio monitors. Yeah, <laughs> when we were starting, studio out. monitors and some decent headphones. Yeah, if you it. You don't. You can do headphones or monitors, but we remember when we were starting, we couldn't figure out why there was so much latency. Wait, um, why is there so? Because we were using Bluetooth. Yeah, we, <laughs> it was like don't use Bluetooth. Yeah, that's not, direct in. <laughs> direct in. Uh, you can use headphones. That's cool. Um, the the monitors we started out with were like a hundred bucks, so and it, they did us fine and. We only really started to run into issues with them when we started to get up to like a hundred tracks <laughs> on a project, and it was just they would they kind of crackle because there was just so much so much information so much inf yeah coming out all well, so, at once. Yeah, you can get started. It doesn't take a lot, and you don't have to go to school. You don't have to get taught. Like there's plenty of resources out there. Like if you want to learn how to play guitar, like there's plenty on the internet. Let's go to YouTube. If I ever teach people how to play guitar, I show them a power chord and just go from there. Because most of learning how to play stringed instruments is like your strumming pattern uh, or plucking or whatever you're doing. And then actually moving around the fretboard. And, you know, unless you're doing some singer-songwriter thing where you're playing cowboy chords all day, like... I've seen so many people just get frustrated and stop playing because they can't do like a C or a, a B chord and you can just do that in a power chord and have fun. You can be rocking in five minutes. Like it doesn't take a lot. You if know? you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, it shouldn't be a frustrating thing. Um, you could get frustrated like, oh, I'm not getting good so quick but that's just practice you know like you'll get it you could get frustrated learning drums yeah I mean, um i remember there was one day we were trying to record a song and i wrote the lyrics and i'm like basically wrote the time signatures whatever whatever that is and um he was just having such a hard time coming back into like a, a like a certain 
part of the song in the drums because I'd come in with the lyrics like a half a second before most other people would and I remember sitting there telling him like dude you can hit me if you want to hit me you can hit me like I know that I I'm the reason you're pissed off right now because I had to be an asshole and write it this way yeah and I think I've only gotten like frustrated ever like recording drums <laughs> Uh, Cause it's like I'm not a drummer, not a drummer, but he plays the drums. I play the drums for Dead, cause uh, it's much easier if we just have two people. Yes. Um, and I, you know it's fun to do. It's, yeah, it's fun. To, it definitely is fun to have um, a full, like one person playing drums, one person playing bass, two people playing guitar, one person singing. But more drama. A lot less drama for just two people. Yeah, it's just us two, so Nate gets over here and bullshit for a bit, and we get to work. And I'm always on time. <laughs> yeah, we. that's one of the uh, leadership principles that we've developed is show up. A show up. And that's just not, you know, that's being on time, that's coming, you know, at it seriously, um... Just doing the thing like you mean it. Making sure, yeah, ma making sure you're there on time. And if you're not there on time, you let them know what's going on. And, and on the other end, check your comms. Like, you know, make sure that like you are connected and uh, you're listening to what everyone else is telling you. Yeah, check your comms. That's important. Be on the same level. You know, on the same page with everything. Like, we talk about what we're going to do this week before we get here. Yes. Um, just like a basic plan to these are the things we're going to get done. It's good to have a game plan. Because uh, you need a game plan. Um, it, and if you're just starting out, you're going to have hurdles. Like, there's been times where we're just trying to do something and it just doesn't work. And uh, it's usually like some technology thing um, it, where we're like, why can't we do this? And it takes us a while to figure it out, <laughs> you know, and we still get the things done, you know, we'll just be like, oh, okay, this is what we got done this week. Uh, we'll work what we didn't get done in next week, but we still have like a plan. Yes. And, uh. There was something I wanted to say. Forget what it was. Brain trailed off. Um, oh! Probably the most important leadership principle that we have. Let them have it. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta, like, people like us and they want more from us. We're gonna let you have it. We will let you have it. That's what Please Pirate is all about. Yeah, that's our company uh, that'll be basically serving as our record label um, brand uh, just a holding thing for all of our future projects yeah uh, yeah the way that we see it um, if you really like what we're doing and you want us to keep doing it you can give us money that's cool and uh, we will gladly take it and hopefully we'll get some but if for whatever reason you don't have the means, we're not going to keep it from you. It's it's music. It's in the air. Like, Yeah, I think the whole notion of having to pay to hear music is really dumb. Because um, you might not reach the people that might really like it. Because I know that I'm just not going to pay however much an album costs just to check it out. Yeah. Like, um, like back in the day, yeah, when we were, when piracy was a big deal. Like I, I, kids today, I don't even know if they know what piracy is because it's streaming. But someone would tell me about an artist, and I like, like have you ever heard of these guys? I'd be like, no, I think I'm gonna go home and download everything that they ever made. And if it was good, I'd go out and buy their album. And if it wasn't, I would delete it from my computer. To have space for more albums, yeah, that I'm going to pirate. 
<laughs> that's just how it works. Like, even if a show, it, like, a show on TV, like, it's free to watch it on TV um, with ads. Um, but, you know, if you really like it, you're going to go out and buy the, the seasons, the box sets. Um, maybe you buy some shirts or something from it because you just like it. And that's kind of the approach that we're taking. If you want to listen to our music, it's out there. It's out there. You can listen to it. No yeah, problem. Show it to your friends. Like, they'll be able to download it. You know, show other people. Um, and if you want to, if you like it and you want to give us money, we have ways for you to do that. So. But, uh, say so we can go ahead and wrap this up now. Um, it was great talking to everyone. Um, it said Heaven, it's out. Uh, check it out. Share it with your friends. Please, Pirate. And, uh, Yes, we'll see you when we uh, drop our third EP. Details on that coming soon. Coming Thank soon. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Good night. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and each other.